How's Grandma's favorite people? Lucy, Ben, Hattie. Hey, Sawyer's out there too. I'm going to read a story because Grandma still can't come and see you and I miss you so much. It's a Paw Patrol one. Uh, sea Patrol, Lucy, Ben, I think you guys have this movie. So you'll know the story. Okay. Sea Patrol to the rescue. One sunny morning, the Paw Patrol were at their new beach tower headquarters. Mayor Goodway had asked the pups to be Adventure Beach's new lifeguard rescue team. She wanted them on duty during her luau that afternoon. We'll be the Sea Patrol, Ryder announced. But before you can save anyone, you'll have to earn your lifeguard badges. Ready, set, get wet, barked Zuma. I think they're going to run into the water. For the lifeguard test, the pups didn't rescue a person. They took turns swimming through a course of floating buoys and rescuing a pineapple named Mr. Prickly. One by one, each pup earned a badge until it was Rocky's turn. <clears throat> That's okay, he said. I don't like getting wet. You can't be a lifeguard without getting wet, Sky said. Hmm, Rocky said to himself. We'll see about that. Oh, Rocky's going to try to be a lifeguard without getting wet. Let's see what he does. Instead of swimming, Rocky jumped from a buoy to buoy, then threw a life ring around Mr. Prickly. He pulled the pineapple in and hopped back to shore without getting wet. Pretty smart fella, huh? Cool rescue technique, Ryder said. But if you want to earn your lifeguard badge, you have to swim. Rocky was happy to be a land guard. I know you can do this, said Ryder. If you don't feel up to it now, you can try again later. Well, I think Rocky's a little afraid of getting wet. I think he's afraid of swimming. Meanwhile, Captain Turnbow was out at sea feeding Wally the walrus. Here's some more juicy jellyfish jerky, he said. He didn't realize that a baby octopus was stuck to the side of his chum bucket. Oh my gosh, like a hitchhiker. Suddenly, the water started churning and Captain, Turnb Captain Turnbow's boat, the flounder, began to rock. <gasps> Giant tentacles reached out of the waves and wrapped around the boat. Oh my goodness, look at that! Oh my goodness, I'd be afraid if that was happening and I was on a boat. Great gushing geysers, I need the Paw Patrol, Captain Turnbow explained, and he called Ryder. Ryder told the pups about Captain Turnbow's boat. The sea patrol was on a roll. Mmm, Ryder, how are we going to get out of the flounder, Rubble asked. Ryder pushed a boat button on his pup pad. The beach tower shook as a huge ship called the sea patroller detached from it. Robo Dog was at the controls and he loaded Zuma's and Rubble's special sea vehicles onto it. Ryder, Rubble, Zuma, and Marshall hopped aboard, and the sea patrollers sped to the rescue. Dun, 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 dun. They're going to go save Captain Turbot. The sea patroller reached the troubled flounder. Zuma and Rubble hit the waves in their new sea vehicles. Zuma tried to pull the tentacles off Captain Turbot's boat with his vehicle's mechanical... Mechano mechanical arms but the sea monster was too strong the mechanical arms weren't strong enough to pull the sea monster's tentacles off Ryder had an idea he told robo dog to sound the sea patroller's horn Bwah, bwah, there went the horn the startled sea monster released the flounder and slid back below the ocean's surface hooray everyone cheered but just then, the flounder started to sink, and Captain Turnbot was still on it. Oh, my gosh. The sea monster let go of the boat, but now the boat's starting to sink. Rubble used his crane to pluck Captain Turnbot off the deck, just as the boat slipped under the waves. The pups and I will do everything we can to raise the flounder, Ryder promised. As Rubble headed back to land, 
no one noticed the little stowaway stuck to Captain Turbot's life ring. <gasps> Remember that stowaway? The little, little, little pink thing? The little baby octopus. <gasps> Marshall put on his scuba gear, dove into the water, and went to work. He found the sunken flounder, that's the name of Captain Turbot's boat, and started pumping it full of air from its tanks. The boat floated up toward the surface. As Marshall watched the boat rise, something shiny caught his eyes. Was it underneath undersea treasure? He picked it up with his mechanical claw and shook it. It's a baby rattle, he exclaimed. Oh my gosh, he found the baby rattle. <gasps> Meanwhile, Captain Turbot was back on Adventure Bay trying to cheer himself up at Mayor Goodway's luau. But while he looked for something to eat, the baby octopus jumped off of him and landed <gasps> right on Mayor Humdinger's head. Oh my goodness, Mayor Humdinger yelled, help, help, get it off, get it off. Let's see what happened then. Just then, the sea monster, oh my goodness, rose out of the waves. Sky took to the air uh, with her parasail to distract it while Rubble built a sand wall to protect the beachgoers. When Ryder arrived, he saw that the sea monster was actually an octopus. And it was squinting, it was squinting because it was having trouble seeing. It's looking for something, but it can't see very well. Maybe the sun is too bright. It can't see. Well, keep it away from me, muttered Mayor Humdinger. I don't want that thing on my head. Then Ryder realized the giant octopus was the little octopus's mommy. We need to get that baby back to its mom. The giant octopus, it's a mommy. She just wants to get her baby back. But first, they had to get the baby off Mayor Humdinger's head. Oh, my gosh, it's been on his head all this time. Starting to be a little bit crowded there. <clears throat> Marshall remembered the rattle he'd found and started shaking it. Oh, so Marshall starts shaking the rattle. <gasps> Babies like rattles, don't they? The baby octopus reached for the toy. But because Mayor Humdinger couldn't see, he accidentally knocked the rattle into the ocean. Oh, he bumped it and it flew away and it fell in the ocean. Someone had to get that rattle. I can find it with my metal detector, said Rocky. Are you sure, Rocky? Ryder asked. You'll have to swim and get wet. If getting wet will help the baby octopus get back to its mom, I can do it, Rocky declared. He extended his metal detector bravely, dove into the water and found that rattle again. Oh my goodness, Rocky went in the water even when he didn't want to. But that baby needed its rattle, huh? Shaking the toy, Zuma boarded the sea patrol with Ryder and headed away from the beach. The little octopus followed the rattling noise and the mother followed her baby. Out in the deep water, the mother and baby found each other and they hugged. Oh, my goodness, and they hugged, and they hugged. They were so glad to see each other. The baby was like, oh, Mommy, I was so scared, and Mommy said, I missed you. I was scared, too. Ryder quickly made, the eye, made eyeglasses out of two punch bowls from the luau. Now the mother could always find her baby. Oh, Ryder made a pair of glasses for the Mommy Octopus, the Sea Patrol, uh, had worked together, and they saved the day. How about that? Back on the beach, everyone cheered for the pups. Hooray! Hooray! And for Captain Turbo, whose newly, newly repaired flounder, his boat was all like brand new, and he was so happy too. Thank you, Paw Patrol, said Mayor Goodway. You saved the beach and the party. I think Rocky deserves the biggest thank you, said Ryder. He got wet to save the day, and he earned this. Ryder pinned his lifeguard badge to Rocky's vest. All the pups howled and hooray for their brave friend. The end. That's it, guys. I love you. I'll read some more stories later. I miss you. Love. Kisses. Peace. Bye.